just got offered a free boat. Meet sailing vessel Paraheli. This is the story of how we got the boat and what we did with her in the first 24 hours. By the way, sorry, I'm Barry. This is Haley. Pleasure to meet you. I'm a tattoo artist and he's a... a mariner? A Renaissance man. Yeah. Yeah, so I think we're gonna do this. I think this is meant to be. I hope it was. <laughs> um, fuck, I think we can pull it off. Um, uh, I know we can. There's lots to love about it, but I do not want Does to convince you guys. Pardon? Does it run? Yes. Oh. I do not want to convince you guys that this is a good boat for you. Mm -hmm. If it's not something that's going to work for you. Totally. And you will not offend anyone if you get on the thing and go, oh, this is just you. beyond what I'm interested in. So, the goal now for this boat is for its legacy to live on. Yeah. If that's a reality, awesome. Isn't it a reality? At this point, Evan is seeking new ownership for his boat, Parahelion. He's lived aboard the boat for 30 years, but his health has declined recently and he can no longer live aboard. No That's harm, a too. Yeah, well, I mean, it's kind of the ideal group of people for it to have stumbled into, for it to like relive. Wow, what's her name? This is the first time I laid eyes on her and she's stunning it's hard to put into words how impressive this boat is when you first walk up to it it was obvious from the get-go that this boat had a lot of problems but um, i've been restoring old wooden boats for half a decade now and i live on an old wooden boat so restoring a fiberglass boat yeah, with fine. a minimal amount of woodwork as its superstructure isn't that intimidating. It also becomes just home grid. Oh, yeah. The davit sits down. Oh, yeah. The dinghy is, if you wish to keep it, I'd fill it full of expanding foam. <laughs> oh, I see what you're saying. Um, so, yeah, it's hop on board. Uh, you'll see a few things. So, she has a gen set on board. This is just a temporary means. She does have an integrated generator. Yeah. My understanding is that the stator needs to be around, but I don't actually have to. Oh, dang. Big old capable gal. Oh, yeah. It's got a manual setting. It looks like a Bruce. Oh, wow. My alarm bells were going off and my bank account was starting to roll over in its grave, but I had a really good feeling about the crew that we were bringing into this and the capability of myself and Simon and Haley but the reality was setting in pretty quick that uh, eventually she was going to need an entirely new deck and a lot of the deck beams were going to need to be entirely replaced. But I'm sure as you can understand just from watching, I was becoming quite smitten by this boat and the potential it has. So we decided to forge forward and keep taking a look around. Yeah, yeah, this is where it came from. This is the Petri dish from which all the did you get it. So a couple things about the doghouse. I, I did tell Slav in this. It has this um, Vesmar autopilot, which is actually oh, wow. a super epic autopilot. It stopped yeah. functioning last year at some point. Is it hydraulic? Yeah, it's hydraulic. The other piece of resistance that I find for Pacific Northwest Cruising is that is a Teleflex heater. So it's a hydronic heater. It'll give you hot water. It'll keep Perfect. your bunk super hot. And it's quite the piece of equipment. Yeah, and that's it's unreal. Really built. Mm -hmm. Amazing. Yeah. This this itself is just the veneer that sits oh, underneath okay. the ply. That's easy. It's like and the I setup can, we did on yeah. Simon's boat. Mm -hmm. Yeah, you can push it forward. And just to show, like, see where your hand is, you can just see half the much of the cleanup is like it's just like that. Yeah. yeah. Dude, it's everywhere. Find me a spot where there isn't mold. <laughs> work on these boats is gorgeous. Little tiger. Areas I need to draw you to. This is not structural, but that's a facade, but that is fucked. 
Yeah. So, Wet water down the deck there. Gary just did all that on his boat. You see these some of these may need to be sistered, I'm not certain. Yeah. Same again on that side. Goodbye. <laughs> all right. I, I, you don't want to be down here, fair enough. I've already spent way too long. We spent weeks down there and I just I got so sick from it. That's fair. Sorry guys. No, it's okay. Oh, it's we okay. Got this boat has a lot of red flags, oh, yeah. but it's just dripping with romance and potential. And that's really what inspired us to keep going and what inspired us to commit to restoring this boat. Um, it's not a small undertaking, but we're up for the task. I think once you step into an aft cabin like this, you know it's over. There's no turning back. The only option is forward. The only option is to start mitigating all the damage and try and turn this boat into a worthy, worthy vessel once again. She needs to haul out, dry out, trace all the. Oh, we can carve it. We can build a little shed. No, you do the deck work on the boat. You just put a shed over it. like it's yeah all the way around she leaky mm -hmm. it's a big job that's a huge ass job yeah I don't know why, but this is probably one of my favorite parts of the boat. It, it's it's an ugly bathroom right now. It looks like it's from the 90s in a hotel, but my God, it's got a bathtub. What more do you need other than a deck that doesn't leak? <laughs> From here, Haley and I immediately went to a corner store, bought cigarettes, and went to a bar and started talking about what the fuck just happened to us. First day, rest of our lives. We just got offered a free boat. Uh, it's a Formosa 51. Um, my dream boat. Um, I leave on Friday, it's, what day is it? Tuesday? It's Tuesday today. I leave on Friday to go sail around Cape Horn uh, for two months, so uh, incredibly poor timing, but... Life finds a way. Also, my boat's wide open right now, and I have to seal it up, but I also have to now deliver this boat from Vancouver to Steveston somehow tomorrow, tomorrow while I should be working on my boat so it's gonna be fucking insane and please watch the movie Captain Ron because it's a Formosa 51 it's yeah. a it's, her name is Perihelion Perihelion yeah which means um, the closest point to the sun in the orbit of the earth um, which is actually two weeks after winter solstice we found out about this yesterday someone had got a hold of Simon offered him a free boat um, it's an older man named Evan, who is an absolute legend. We haven't met yet, but I can't wait to hear his story. Um, he lived on that boat for 30 years. We had to wear KN95 masks going inside the cabin because it was it is moldy, and even with the masks on, you could smell the mold. And she's um, she's well appointed. Everything's in like Fucking I'd say so cool. 80% of it is great, 
Uh, it seems like the rigging is really good. I need to go over all of it. The uh, sails seem to be in good shape. Um, the motor runs. Apparently, um, we'll find out tomorrow how well she runs. Um, there's a lot of unknowns with this, which is why we're drinking at like <laughs> one o'clock. <laughs> we had to have a beer immediately after, um, which is understandable. Um, and, uh, oh, uh, by the way, sorry, I'm Barry. This is Haley. Pleasure to meet you. I'm a tattoo artist and he's a... a mariner. A mariner. And an actor, a biker. A biker, yeah. <laughs> Renaissance man. Yeah. Yeah, so I think we're going to do this. I got into boating about less than a year ago and somehow this has just happened. Um, but it was, I think this was meant to be. I hope it was. <laughs> um, fuck, it's kind of insane. Uh, it's my dream boat. I already have. I thought I had my dream boat. I have a 1956 wooden seagoer. That's what he was referring to earlier. The Dagon. Um, the repairs. Uh, so I feel like insert clip of what you've been doing on Dagon. Yeah. Which is why this boat seems approachable. Um, because for most people, I don't know how you would already have that skill. Um, yeah, repairing old rotten boats is... is has been my full-time job for five years, so let's fucking go. Let's do it. I've never done anything like this before. Like I said, I'm a tattoo artist, but however, I'm very handy and hopeful that we can... We've got a can-do attitude. You know, it counts for a lot. Uh, it seems right now the plan kind of makes the most sense is that we all go in, share a lot of the labor, share a lot of the costs, and with the, uh, the outcome being um, a charter business. We make so. some money with it, have some good adventures. It's gonna be uh, a wild ride, so we're uh, yeah, very excited. Thank you, yeah, thank you for joining us for this. Um, it's insane, but I think we can, I think we can pull it off. Um, uh, I know we can. Um, I think it's worth noting that what he's doing, giving us this boat is beyond generosity. Um, it's like a, it's his legacy, right? And uh, we fully intend to to really cherish that legacy and have him involved. Um, so I hope that we can introduce him in the future and maybe he can tell us a story or two about this boat because um, he did live on there for 30 years. Thank you to Evan for making this dream possible for us. Um, he just showed me the movie Captain Ron last week, so I feel like in part like this was like we summoned this to happen. It's going to be uh, gross, dirty, hard, a huge learning curve for me with no experience with this. There's gonna be some tears. Yeah, and blood, some sweat, and tears. <laughs> Uh, and see. Yeah. Make some, we'll make some merch, I think. Make pins, t-shirts, yeah. um, with like big sailboat on the back. We'll figure it out. And we're gonna need, I don't know if you want to just come and help even out with just, sanding and grinding Even and just shit. tell us we're doing a good job, we'd appreciate it. Yeah, a little pat on the back, just, like, you know? Just tell us that we, we're not fucking insane and like, well, I mean, maybe. We're insane. Well, you don't lie to us. <laughs> do, we, do we kiss on YouTube? Yeah, we can kiss on YouTube. I think they don't censor kissing on YouTube. Yeah. Um, do I have to show pics of my feet now? No, sorry. <laughs> we'll not do that. This is not about feet I'll pics. I'll do it. I'll do it. Tune to see foot pics <laughs> and boats. That's, that's what we, that's yeah. our channel. Okay, we're gonna okay. keep hustling on everything and try Thank and make you. it work. Bye. Bye. Eight hours after the initial viewing of the boat, we were back at the Vancouver Rowing Club signing papers.
couple of times, got it running, got the solenoid yeah. clicking, and then it uh, fired from upstairs just fine. Brilliant. Yeah. So let's go upstairs and give it a shot. Sounds Absolutely. Like a plan. I 100% agree that this is a brilliant plan. Do you want the last one? Yes, he's, he does. He's a raw dog in that. Yay! Yay. Just as I'm leaving. It's like, Sorry, what stage was your lymphatic cancer there? Four. Buddy? Thank you. Damn, yeah. No, stage four. That's not that's bad, four right? And yeah, now you're at four and a half. How yeah. much of it was in your lungs? Oh, right. All of it. Yeah. Is that bad? Way. So, again, key in. So I'm going to hold it there. See, so you've got good voltage here. You're good. Evan swears by 24 yeah. seconds. Yeah. 24 yeah. seconds. I have no idea. Plug. And then, yeah, let's put it in neutral here. Oh yeah, ding, 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 ding. That's, the That's the alternator sound. Brilliant. There it goes. And then to stop it, there's a stop button right here. Gotcha, gotcha. gotcha. We'll stop it. Yeah. Oh, you know what's not on? You don't need to yell them off and there's no engine running. <laughs> there is a switch below decks that's labeled fuel pump. I saw that. That needs to be on or the yeah. engine sounds like that. Correct. Okay. So that's why. I think it's crazy. On? Muffin, is the fuel pump on? Is which, sorry? Fuel, fuel pump. pump. No, why? Can okay. you turn it on? <laughs> it helps. No. Yeah, we gotta Tell me we don't have to bleed belts. these. That's okay. So cut them right off. Muffin, what did you do? I think we just ran it without the pump on. Yeah, yeah, get to it. Do you want to bleed it or do you want to just keep trying to do this? You what? You where? Yeah, I know. Bloodletting. Should we bloodlet it or should we just keep doing oh, this? Oh, no, 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 no. Flexions of the humors. Didn't suck air in. Hey Muffin, mm, yes, dear? you want to grab a 12 mil spanner and crack that uh, lead into the high pressure pump? No, I hate you so much. I know, but it's a love-hate. No, no, no. And when you're about halfway through that, I'll spin this engine over and scare the shit out of you, if okay? You would, that'd be great. Can't hear you. Raw water. Hang on. Uh, one, two, three. There we oh. go. That's, uh, like water pump um hang on behind you yeah right yeah yeah raw water's on yeah okay uh right behind you yes basically right where you're sitting is the raw water yeah shut off yeah pull that up shut it off it's other way no up oh, oh, stiff right. as fuck yeah okay there, there you go. go okay good stopped it okay watch mm -hmm. your anything you value get Okay, we spent a couple hours last night getting the motor fired up because oh, yeah. a couple hours sleeping. We were struggling with the motor because she was sucking a lot of air. Uh, one of the return lines was just bleeding air into the system. So anytime we cracked open the injectors, it was just foaming out of them. Uh, eventually we just plugged the line and she ran good. That was three, four hours ago. So hopefully she fires back up. Like, that was six. We was just it really? Stay up drinking. Oh yeah, we were. Yeah, that's correct. Um, it's all a blur at this point. Um, so we're gonna go do uh, delivery from Coal Harbor all the way around to Steveston, and 
tides and currents everywhere are as we need them. The winds are light and variable, turning to northwest 5 to 15 at around noon, uh, which might actually be very beneficial for us. Um, we're going to try and chuck some sails up, get things a little bit more ship shape. We're going to hope that she runs good the whole way because not a lot of wind today. Um, yeah, so we're going to go flash it up, get anything off the docks that belongs to the boat, put it on deck, and kick off and start motoring as soon as possible. So, wish us luck. Well, hello. Good morning. Okay, glow plug should be warm now. And just make sure to give the stern a little push and come on board. We're drifting away, so. No, we're drifting off on our own. All aboard! All aboard! below doing an engine check. She found some garbage bags. That's good news for this boat. She's going to be in better shape when we get in. 
Um, and I'm gonna go up the rig and take a little uh, look at it before we try and raise anything. So here we go. So I'm just up at the first spreaders, and uh, everything looks pretty, uh, pretty good so far. Uh, spreaders are aluminum, which is amazing. Mast is aluminum. Huge mast. Uh, classy gentleman. Okay, I'm just uh, down below doing a little check, making sure everything seems good. Listening for water ingression, listening for funky sounds, everything's good. The wood furniture is all great. But there's more covers under here. Everything has matching covers. Oh, it's probably covers for the rest of the furniture. We well, you can sand them down and paint them. Oh, for sure. Or just fucking stain them. Um, there's another chest there. Oh, this. Mystery items. Bonus bits. Uh, nice little CBQ. That'll be nice. We have little things for the things. Things like, for the things. Yeah. Oh, sick. Yeah, a little fender mount. Fenders, what are the fenders? Yeah, those rubber bumper things right up there. Hold on! Hold on! Hold on Dan. Those rubber bumper what? things! What? Hurry! Yeah, it's like a fucking glove. Like a glove. Look how much tinier it is back here already. Amazing. We are currently beside Spanish Banks. We've got English Bay in Vancouver behind us. And that out there is where we came from. Actually, pardon me, that over there is the Lion's Gate, which we just passed under. And uh, yeah, things are going good. I want to watch you too. It's going to slowly kill you guys. 
guys a lot. That's the best way to do it. First beer on Sarah Italian. Do I just pour a little on the back? Uh, yeah, do it. It's already dirty. Obviously it is painful. You ready for oh, this? I suppose. Fingers. It doesn't say don't use it on your your DS hands. Oh my god, I'm so glad I didn't break my finger. That would have been really bad. I mean, if anything's gonna happen, it's gonna happen out there. So, oh well, look, I put the flap of skin back, but That's I good. left a piece of skin on the door. So, we'll snack for later. Oh, tasty treat. Yeah, look, it's not that bad. Ah, uh, you're good. <laughs> Okay. 
that C-SPAN, but when it went by us, it shook up the tanks and we got a bunch of water in there. Fuck. Right? Yeah, that's not diesel, that's water. That's a fuel filter? Yeah, fuel water separator. In both. A that lot. one's okay, this one is fucked. This is all water. Damn. What are you thinking right now? Uh, this is coming down. That's good. So, yeah, this is all usable fuel. Uh, water will be at the bottom and the fuel will rise to yeah. the top. So, if you can see, there's it's going down really quickly. You can see that little grimy layer right, uh, right there. So, we just gotta get the water out of there. Crazy. Just when you're listening to Great Big Sea and Chillin'. Um, but, you so, know, as they say, if anything's gonna happen... It's gonna happen out here. So, and we out here. We're very close to being um, at Trites. But she peeing out a lot of murky water. Just like me earlier. Just kidding. Yeah. Gross. We've both been drinking uh, yeah. <laughs> too much beer. Too many PBRs. It happens, man. So it happens when you get a bladder infection. Yeah. The old gal's got a UTI. That's disgusting, but also, you know what, kind of. Gotta empty that bladder. I also have to pee really bad too, so, but we're not gonna film that. Oh, is that, oh, that's the, oh, the god, man. It's getting, is that diesel coming yeah, out a little bit? Yeah, it's diesel and algae. That looks pretty clean. It's, yeah, okay, you know what's up, so. Okay. Oh, we got dinner. Okay, let's check on where we are. How's it going up here, Earl? We're just drifting. Oh yeah, we're in a good spot at least for drifting. Um, and there's no other boats around. The buoy is still on our starboard side. Tons of water. In, huh? Tons of water. in the filter? Oh, yeah, luckily like there's a mixing bowl. I'm glad you went. So we're gonna restart the boat. Good job, Earl. Yeah, we're still making good headway actually. Yeah. Luckily, we have following seas. So. 24. 24. Anyone counting? No, I'm not, but I'm just want to make sure you were. <laughs> I think the coil plug should be warm, Ash. We'll see. It's going to be gross and stally for a minute. Let's just take that down like 10 degrees. Yeah, yeah. Okay, well, so far that works, so I'm going to end the video here, Ooh. but we'll, uh, if anything else changes, I'll restart. So the engine just died again, but it's on. I think this is going to be how we get into trites. Yeah, well, we're making good way with yeah. trites. Do you want to maybe just peep down to the engine room? Yeah, I'm going to check that filter again. Yeah. So it's going to die again. Let's go see what Barry's doing. That is not good too. Because we took the time to put the sails up, at this point, whenever the motor would die on us, we still had good steerage and we were still making at least a few knots upstream. The fuel had emulsified with the water at this point, uh, kind of like when you shake up your salad dressing and it takes a few days for the oil and the water to re-separate. So no matter how many times we would clean the fuel filter out, we were still stuck with watery diesel. Um, it would run for a bit, but it would still stall out. Anything's gonna happen. It's gonna happen yeah. out there, so. Learn that driving the Saratoga, the old Sarah. <laughs> the USS Saratoga? Yeah, the old Sarah. Oh, she's about to die again. Yeah, damn. But I think we're we're just in the thick of it. It's gonna it's gonna settle. 
Is that what's happening to it right now? Is that there's Yeah, we're just working through the sediment and the water that got through okay. the system. Okay. She's fine. So, starting her up again. I'm not sure how many times that is. A lot of smoke. Whoa, it's a lot of smoke. Tons of smoke, yeah. This is what happens when you get a free boat, maybe, or just when you have a boat. It's always like a risk, but I mean, I think. What do you want for nothing? Everything. <laughs> Earl, I'm a millennial. I want everything. Give me everything. I'm gonna check the water flow at the back. Oh yeah, we're good. Everyone has a different definition of good, but I'm glad yours is what we have right now. It's uh, proper sailing, you know? It's not an adventure unless there's something going wrong or uh, some blood. There's some time for spontaneity later. <laughs> <laughs> the motor continued to stall on us the rest of the way back to the marina. We were still able to dock, uh, but we weren't able to get any footage of it, but somebody else did, and they sent us the footage. Here it is. I'm not on your... safe and sound at the Steveston Harbor Authority. We tied up at noon, that's 24 hours exactly from the first time Haley and I stepped foot on her decks. Steveston will be Parahelian's home for the next two to four months. Now the work begins in assessing the work that needs to be done and completing that work and getting her back in the water. A huge thank you to Evan and as well a thank you to Ben Muffin and everybody else at the Vancouver Rowing Club. Without you guys, none of this could have happened, so thank you. And don't forget, Finding Simon has a YouTube show and he's got episodes out about this, and Parahelion has its own YouTube show, and there's also a Parahelion Instagram account, so make sure to like and subscribe and follow and do all those wonderful things. Uh, we really appreciate your support, and we really appreciate you guys watching. There's lots more content where this comes from, so stay tuned.